Welcome back. A new state bill signed into law allows EMS aircraft to carry and distribute blood in the air, something that actually wasn't allowed before. Advocates have been fighting for months to pass the legislation, and doing so will make New York State the last state in the union to allow this practice. Eric Cost has been following this story for us and filed this report. Aaron Reese, program director with Mercy Flight, says sometimes it takes many miles to fly a patient to a trauma center, up to 45 minutes for those in rural areas. About 40 percent of patients they serve day in and day out are trauma patients who need blood right away. But for years, residents in New York State have had to rely only on salt water transfusions instead of actual blood. When you have a patient that is, has been traumatically injured and they, they need volume, giving them salt water is not that is not the, the gold standard. They need blood products at that point. Now a new law is going to make things significantly easier for both patients and medics. The law, co-sponsored by Senator Pam Helming, authorizes EMS aircrafts to store and administer blood on helicopters while traveling. No more waiting. It was initially introduced uh, two years ago, something that many, many other programs have been doing. So something we're certainly very, very excited and, and ready to be ready to start doing as well. The blood will be refrigerated on the aircraft and monitored regularly for expiration. Reese says a recent shortage of blood in our region is one concern of hers moving forward. We'll work with, with blood banks and, and the Red Cross and, and work to um, develop a relationship with uh, those agencies. And while the shortage is worrisome, Reese has faith in the community to step up and help with donations. She's hopeful this new law can only improve care for patients, whether they're in far out rural regions or not. Every second counts. Eric Hedekos reporting there. Thank you. Mercy Flight Central in Canada was planning on hosting a blood drive soon to help with the shortage. When they do, we'll have that info for you over at rochesterfirst.com.